And that's just what happened. That's what we planned it, and that's what happened, okay? People cussing me out and telling me how dumb I am because I went to the store asking for them to take my food stamp card for some paper plates. All my stuff seemed real. That's the reality of what we got going on. You want it to seem real, okay? That's what we do. So if it if it don't seem real, it's a bunch of crap. We, we want it to make it seem real. But if they think something real, they're going to watch it. So applaud me. But that's just letting us know that if y'all thinking it's real, y'all letting us know we did a damn good job. And we're going to do many more good jobs. There's like all them videos I went running over people houses and stuff like that looking for Charles. Everybody was talking about that too. Oh, Miss Nelly, you all be ashamed of yourself going to these women houses looking for this man. Y'all think that was real? I was like, these people crazy. But I just applaud myself. I was like, okay, well, if they think that's real, it is what it is. That means I'm doing a good job. And we went on there. We, we upstaged this. And a lot of people think it wasn't staged. It's, Hell, we know this is fake. We know this is real. We're going to put it out there for y'all. And it's up to y'all to determine if y'all can determine if it's real or fake. In this video, I'm going to be exposing Shannon Sharp. Because as you can see, his other character is Miss Netta. So I will be exposing both of these characters along with their base character in this video. And I'm also going to expose Cat Williams and his female character at the end of this video as well. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way through and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get right into it. So this one is extremely obvious. You know, when I was doing research for this video, I saw many people talking about how Shannon Sharp looks like Miss Netta. And I never heard of Miss Netta until I did research for this video. Apparently Miss Netta got famous on TikTok because Miss Netta is dating a guy named Charles. And nowadays they're making many characters on TikTok, but I don't know about them because I'm not on TikTok. You know, like I said in the past, TikTok and every social media was designed to keep you distracted and to promote agendas to you. You know, it's basically a psychological weapon. You know, there's many people that get on social media and they think everything is cool because it's free. And many people don't question why these apps are free. You know, if a product is free, then that means you're actually the product. But that's another topic for another video. For now, I just want to focus on the fact that Shannon Sharp literally has another character on TikTok that goes by Miss Netta. And this one really blew my mind because Miss Netta is actually pretending to be a female. I did not expect Shannon Sharp to have this character. But when I started to do more research, it all started to make sense. So here's some more comparisons of Miss Netta and Shannon Sharp. As you can see, both of these characters love wearing glasses as well. And they have the same eyes, the same nose, the same mouth. They even have the same smile and chin. This one is very easy to see. And as always, not only do these two characters look exactly alike, but they also share the same gematria. Miss Netta equals 104 and Shannon equals 104. Also, both of their social media names share the same gematria as well. Miss Netta and Charles equals 386 and Shannon Sharp 84 also equals 386 in the same cipher. And I noticed that both of their names also match up with Industry Plant with the number 386 in the same cipher. Another connection is their birthdays. So right now Miss Netta is not a big celebrity. So it was a bit harder to find her birthday, but she posted it on Facebook. So as you can see, her birthday is on June 2nd and her other character is Shannon Sharp and his birthday is on June 26th. So as you can see, both of their birthdays are only 24 days apart. So they really put this one in plain sight. And now let's talk about this character real quick because this character's name is Miss Netta and Miss Netta is pretending to be a female, right? But as most of you guys can see, this character is clearly not a female. When I first saw this character, I instantly knew that this was a man. Miss Netta is pretending to be a woman, but is obviously a man in plain sight. And I did further research and I noticed Miss Netta had a Facebook in 2011. And as you can see, his real name is Joe Robinson, not Miss Netta. So Miss Netta is just a character that Joe Robinson created because as you can see, Joe Robinson, a.k.a. Miss Netta, is obviously a man. You know, back then, he didn't really try to hide it. So we should be calling him Mr. Netta, considering that this is openly a man. And even in Gematria, we can see that Miss Netta equals 29, just like this inverted word that I cannot say. They both equal 29 in the same cipher. And Mr. Netta even admitted that he never claimed to be a woman or a man. Check this out. Uh, Jack! 
If you don't know, then you don't know, okay? Check this out. I ain't never came on social media and told nobody that I was no woman. I ain't never come on social media and tell nobody also that I was no man. I did not come on here doing none of that. I came on here for fun, laughter, comedy, to, to provide for y'all, to give y'all something to watch or whatever. What my gender is don't have nothing to do with nobody. So even though Mr. Netta is claiming that he never claimed to be a woman or a man, we can clearly see by these pictures that Mr. Netta is obviously built like a man. And here's a picture of Mr. Netta with his boyfriend Charles. Since Miss Netta is actually a man, this means that this famous couple is openly two men, but it's weird because they're pretending as if they're a regular couple. Notice how Mr. Netta is posing behind a male in this picture, right? And Shannon Sharp has a picture standing behind this boy in 1994. And they posted this on Reddit. And they said, Shannon Sharp and myself in Honolulu for the 1994 Pro Bowl. This picture is really disturbing because he's standing a little too close behind. It really shocked me when I seen this picture because it looks very wrong. So Miss Netta is a fake person. You know, like I showed you guys, her real name is actually Joe Robinson. So she's actually a man. So this means Miss Netta is literally a character. This is why Miss Netta matches up with fake person they both have the same gematria of 110 and 52 in the same two ciphers so now that we know miss netta is a fake person now let's take a look at her boyfriend charles because he's also a fake person you know so many people think just because they see somebody on tiktok or instagram they think they're real people but what if i told you 90 percent of the content you see on these social media apps is created and generated by fake celebrities who are pretending to be a real person and nowadays we're seeing a lot more content being generated by ai so don't fall for these social media characters that they're putting out they're no different from regular celebrities the only difference is that they try harder to infiltrate and to deceive you into believing that they're real people so as you can see Charles is clearly a character on the world stage as well because he is based off of the rapper Young Jock. As you can see, these two characters look identical. They even have the same head shape and the same nose. And I found an interesting connection. Young Jock has this interview where he's talking about Shannon Sharp. And this is a huge connection because Young Jock's other character is Charles. And Charles is dating Miss Netta, who is Shannon Sharp's other character. Another connection is the fact that there was an article in 2023 about Young Jock talking about how 250k is not enough for a non-straight gig because he fears lustful eyes of men. And this is ironic because Young Jock's other character is literally dating a man. And all of these social media celebrities are staged. Every single thing they do is scripted. This is why Miss Netta and Staged have the same gematria of 106 and 636 in the same two ciphers. And here's a video of Miss Netta admitting that all of her content with Charles is staged and scripted. He said we're gonna put we're gonna put a show on for TikTok. So Charles went live, but me and Charles decided we're gonna entertain the TikTok people yesterday. So Charles went live, and I went live as well. So anyway, we did all that yesterday. So we were like, okay, we're going to give uh, TikTok some entertainment. So Charles decided he wanted to get on live and he said he's going to talk to a couple of women on TikTok and um, and going to make Miss Netta mad. So that was where the drama was going to come in at. I said, okay, well, go ahead and do that. Talk to him or whatever. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to act a fool and all this and all that. And that's just what happened. That's what we planned it. And that's what happened. Okay. So that stuff that we be doing, I like I be trying to tell y'all, we are digital creators. We are comedians. We do things funny. We do things to make you want to watch us and make you want to look at us. So when we do something like that, don't be thinking that's for real. Oh, Miss Netta, let Charles, free Charles and all that. It was crazy. It was so crazy. But it was so hilarious. And we got so many numbers. Because them people on TikTok, baby, they love that drama. If that's what they want, then we going to give it to them, okay? Give it to them. If y'all see that on Facebook or whatever, TikTok, y'all got all right to share it. I don't care. It wasn't real. Share it. Do you want me to call Charles in this, in this thing and we can tell you, baby, y'all are, if you think that was, if you think that was true, you the dummy, okay? Because I'm not. We know what's true. We know what we did. So it don't matter. My videos, have y'all have watched some of my videos and read some of my comments where people cussing me out and telling me how stupid and dumb I am because I went to the store asking for them to take my food stamp card for some paper plates? All my stuff seemed real. That's the reality of what we got going on. You want it to seem real, okay? That's what we do. 
So if it if it don't seem real, it's a bunch of crap. We we want it to make it seem real. That's when the money and stuff come in. That's when the people want to watch it. They don't want to see like if, we, if I stage a fight, you know, act like ain't nobody gonna want to see that. But if they think something real, they're gonna watch it. So applaud me. Well, excuse me, not applaud me. Applaud us. So I'm just giving you all what y'all want. So if y'all want y'all to come in again and we fuss and argue again, then that's what y'all want. If y'all that's gonna bring up my views and make my money, we gonna do it. We don't care. Okay. If y'all know what this is about, then y'all know that maybe it's real and maybe it's not. And stuff just just, you know, going through stuff and just thinking what y'all want to think or whatever. But that's just letting us know that if y'all thinking it's real, y'all letting us know we did a damn good job. And we're going to do many more good jobs. So y'all going to see a lot of fussing and arguing because that's what y'all want. There's like all them videos I went running over people houses and stuff like that looking for Charles. Everybody was talking about that too. Oh, Miss Nelly, you all be ashamed of yourself going to these women houses looking for this man. Y'all think that was real? I was like, these people crazy. But I just applaud myself. I was like, okay, well, if they think that's real, it is what it is. That means I'm doing a good job. Because what anything we do on this video, it don't be, it don't be, y'all don't see the y'all don't see the back scenes. So y'all can't say that I be bossy. Y'all just only see what y'all eyes let y'all with it. We let you see. And what we did it for, we did it called TikTok like drama. And we went on there, we we upstaged this, and a lot of people think it wasn't stage, and they like, oh now y'all trying to sugar it up and all that. Ain't nobody trying to sugar it up. <laughs> anyway. But we, this, that's what we did. We comedians. We do things for y'all to watch, to make y'all laugh, and that's what we did yesterday. But we ain't going to show it to y'all, not for real. But anyway, that's what we did yesterday on TikTok. And um, we got talked about pretty bad, which is fine. That's what we wanted. And we got a lot of stuff that's going on about us. That's what we wanted. So whatever y'all do, whether y'all hate us or whether y'all love us, you're going to put money in our pockets. And whatever it takes to put money in our pockets, hell, we know this is fake. We know this is real. We're going to put it out there for y'all. And it's up to y'all to determine if y'all can determine if it's real or fake. Because a lot of people say a lot of videos that I do be so real, okay? Because I try to make them. And I be like, when I used to go to people's house and stuff, I used to be like, come on. Be like, get in it. You know, be like, be mad. Don't be like... Oh, <laughs> you know, don't be serious. Be real, because this is what we want these people to make it like it's real. Because if it seems like it's real, then they're going to watch it. And that's what I do. I could be a producer one day. Because I'll get you to get your show, the movie, and make people think that y'all got it going on for real. Because that's what I do. But anyway, like I said, we did all that. We had fun doing it. And we had fun watching the comments and all the other We even had fun watching the videos that y'all, uh, that y'all screenshot and stuff. We laughed about it and everything. And I did. I called Sean. I didn't mean to. That slipped out. That was just like, uh, when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're fussing or something like that, to make it real and believable, you got to say little things like that people ain't expecting for you to say. It just kind of slipped out. It was like, okay, we're supposed to be doing this. We're supposed to be real, making it real. Then you got to say something to make it real. But it made people really take it real, so it don't matter. <laughs> Now let's talk about Shannon Sharp's base character, which is Wesley Snipes. As you guys can see, Wesley Snipes looks exactly like Shannon Sharp. And again, another similarity with these characters is the fact that they both wear the same type of glasses. And Shannon Sharp really looks like Wesley Snipes in Blade in this comparison right here. Shannon Sharp is basically a bigger version of Wesley Snipes. You know, if Wesley Snipes was on steroids, he would look like Shannon Sharp. Wesley Snipes' real name is Wesley Trent Snipes and Shannon Sharp's real name is Shannon Gold Sharp. And as you can see, both of these characters' real names share the same gematria of 208 in the same cipher. And then Shannon Sharp's name on social media equals 211, just like Wesley Trent Snipes in the same cipher. And then their last names also share the same gematria. Sharp equals 26 and Snipes equals 26 in the same cipher. Another obvious connection is the fact that their last names both start with an S and they're both six letters. Shannon Sharp's podcast is called Club Shay Shay. And as you can see, Club Shay Shay equals 63, just like Wesley Snipes in the same cipher. And the fact that his podcast is called Club Shay Shay should have let people know that this character is obviously not straight because that's a very feminine thing to name your podcast. 
Another connection is their birthdays, because again, both of these characters' birthdays are very close together. So Shannon Sharp's birthday is June 26th, and Wesley Snipes' birthday is July 31st. So their birthdays are only 35 days apart. And this is interesting because both of these characters' first names have the same value of 35 in Gematria. Shannon and Wesley both equal 35, and their birthdays are only 35 days apart. Another connection is the fact that these two characters have the same numerology in their date of birth. So Shannon Sharp's date of birth is June 26, 1968, which has a numerology of 56. And then Wesley Snipes' date of birth is July 31st, 1962, which has a numerology of 56 as well. And when you add 5 and 6, you get 11. So this means these two characters have the same life path number of 11. So now that you guys know that Shannon Sharp is a character, it shouldn't surprise you that Cat Williams is also a character because they're both getting together to deceive people right now. As you can see, the podcast that Cat Williams was on is called Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay has the same gematria as Jesuit Order. As you can see, they both share the numbers 144 in the same cipher, along with 54 and 45. And then Cat Williams matches up with Internet with the numbers 42, 84, and 48 in the same ciphers. Notice how Cat Williams and Internet have the same gematria with the number 42. And 42 is 24 reversed. And Cat Williams is going viral on the Internet in 2024. So the riddle is in plain sight. All of this was scripted. Cat Williams is not a real person. He was scripted to do this interview on the Internet in 2024 for a reason. And that reason is to deceive you and distract you. And I'm tired of people saying that this whole situation is a distraction from Jeffrey and his list. And that's completely false. When I said celebrities are a distraction, I was talking about how they're a distraction from yourself, not another distraction. Because the Jeffrey list is also a distraction. Everything that they're putting out right now is a huge distraction. Just like the aliens in Miami. You know, they're doing so many distractions at the same time to keep people on social media and the internet as much as possible. Because the more time you spend on the internet, the less time you're spending on yourself. And here's a video of Shannon Sharp talking about the interview. And notice how Chad Ochocinco purposely says that the video has 42 million views. And he keeps repeating that number for a reason. Because as you can see, Cat Williams and internet both equal 42. YouTube history. The 42 second million. 42 million my 42. Dad. Come on now. They mad about the Ocho. So in that video, Chad Ocho Cinco was being very subliminal by constantly saying the number 42. And if you guys remember, I made a video exposing ASAP Rocky and Chad Ocho Cinco. I'll put a link to this video in the description. Now let's talk about the number 84 because Cat Williams equals 84 in Gematria. And Shannon Sharp used to wear the jersey number 84 when he played football. And Masonry is 84. And Agent of the Matrix is 84. So don't you guys find that very ironic that this character wore the number 84 and then does an interview with Cat Williams that becomes a huge distraction and Cat Williams also equals 84? I mean, come on now. All of this is scripted and it's all in your face. None of these characters are real. And I talked about this in my other video about Cat Williams. I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't. The link will be in the description. In that video, I talked about how Cat Williams' base character is Al Sharpton. They even share the same gematria of 67 with their real names. So I bring this up because I forgot to mention this connection in my other video. So Cat Williams' other character is Al Sharpton, right? So what are the chances that Cat Williams does an interview with Shannon Sharp? So if you guys notice the riddle here, Cat Williams' base character is L. Sharpton, and he has the word Sharp in his last name. And then Shannon's last name is literally Sharp. So this one is really in plain sight. This is more proof that Cat Williams' base character is L. Sharpton, because what are the chances of this happening? You know, none of this is a coincidence. Another character I talked about in that video is Allen Iverson. As you can see, Allen Iverson looks very similar to Cat Williams. And a connection I forgot to mention in my last video is the fact that Cat Williams is following Allen Iverson on Instagram. And again, this is not a coincidence. Now let's talk about his youngest character on the world stage right now, which is T.I.'s daughter. And her name is Deja Harris. 
and shout out to Divine Sade for making this video. The link will be in the description. I recommend you guys watch her video if you haven't because she showed more information and connections with these two characters. And as you can see, she was very accurate with this video because T.I.'s daughter looks exactly like Cat Williams in this comparison. So here's some more comparisons of Deja Harris and Cat Williams. And this one was shocking to a lot of people because a lot of people didn't expect for them to create a young female character out of Cat Williams. But if you think about it, it makes perfect sense that this character would have a female character considering how short he is and how feminine he is. He really looks feminine with his hair permed. And as you can see, they have the same smile as well. And right here, you can see that they share the same eyes. So this one is really easy to see. And a connection with this one is the fact that Deja Harris is T.I.'s daughter and T.I. is following Cat Williams on Instagram and they have a picture together as well. And right here, you can really see the resemblance. They literally have the same head shape and they have the same eyes as well. Here's another picture I found of Cat Williams doing symbolism. And like I mentioned in my last video, Cat Williams is not only doing symbolism in this picture, but as you can see, his stage name, Cat Williams, matches up with Freemason in three ciphers. So that's not a coincidence. And it's ironic that Cat Williams matches up with Freemason, considering that Cat Williams is a fake hero that was planted by the industry. And here's a quote from a famous 33rd degree Freemason, Albert Pike. He said, whenever the people need a hero, we shall supply him. So this is coming from a 33rd degree Freemason. He's openly admitting that they create fake heroes to deceive the masses. And Cat Williams is obviously one of those fake heroes. And there's so many bots that don't want to accept the truth. I was surprised when I noticed that many of you were still believing that Cat Williams was a real person. That showed me that many people aren't actually detached from celebrities. Even though they watch my videos, they still love celebrities because once I exposed their favorite celebrity, then they started getting mad. So just remember, no celebrity is safe. All of them are fake and they will all be getting exposed. Don't fall for any celebrities. Even when they try to speak truth, they're obviously deceiving you because there's no real celebrities on the world stage. This is why they make many heroes like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Tupac, and the list goes on. I made videos on all of those characters because they're all fake heroes that were planted to deceive us because they're scared that a real hero will come about. So they have to make all of these fake heroes and get people attached to them. And as you can see, Shannon Sharp has many pictures doing symbolism as well. And I noticed his username on Instagram is Shannon Sharp 84 and it has a value of 666 in the reverse satanic cipher. So again, that's not a coincidence. This character is obviously a low vibrational character. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope all of you have detached from celebrities the next time they create a fake hero like Cat Williams. I really hope people don't defend him. But unfortunately, there's so many bots. They're going to keep getting mad and they're going to keep infiltrating in comment sections to try to convince people to stay attached to celebrities. You know, don't believe these bots in my comments. There's many people that are sent to make these comments and to try to trick people into thinking that celebrities are real. So keep that in mind. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, subscribe to my Patreon. The links are in the description and I'm out. Hello. Hello, um, must be with Angie. This is her. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm good. Who is this? This Fred. Fred who? Jackson. Fred Jackson? Yeah. I don't think I know you, Fred. Well, we went to school together back at Silicon High School. Oh, we did? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get my number, Fred? I had got it from my old friend, baby. So you can't tell me who the old friend is? I mean, I'll tell you eventually. You, you'll find out pretty soon. Well, pretty soon? I need to know now. Why you need to know, baby, so soon? So soon? <laughs> Who is this? It's Fred Jackson, baby. I don't know you, Fred Jackson, so I'm going to have to holler at you later. No, baby, don't hang up, baby. I'll tell you what it was. Hello? Hello? Yeah, baby. 